One problem students seem to have every now and then when shading is not getting their shadows really dark, but getting their shadows really light. And so what they do is when they're using a shading pencil, they think that they have to actually get a different kind of pencil to be able to make lighter shadows. And while different pencils do create lighter shadows, the graphite between the two different types doesn't especially match. I like using a single pencil when I'm shading so that all of my graphite tones will match. But I do have a trick to help you to create really light shadows no matter what softness of graphite pencil you are using. So when you're shading, when you put pressure on the point, the texture of the paper rubs against the graphite of your pencil and leaves a layer of graphite on your paper. Now we use shading pencils to do that. As you can see, this is a 7B. So some people have a hard time blending to the white of the paper because of how soft this graphite is. So as they work their way across, they end up with just really dark shading that never really gets a whole lot lighter. Now you can learn to control the pressure of your hand and actually pull back from the point enough to be able to get that light shading. However, I have a little trick that you can create light shadows with even without having developed that control of your hand. First thing we know, need to know is a little bit of physics. When your pencil rests on your hand itself, the weight of your hand is on the point of the pencil. There's nothing you can do about that unless you can physically pull back from the point with muscle control. But as soon as you put that point on the page, that is the weight of your hand on the point. And that makes it a little tough to create some lighter shadows. The trick is to take the weight of your hand out of the equation. Hold your pencil all the way at the end so that the back of the pencil is not resting anywhere on your hand. Now, the weight of only the pencil is on the point. And the pencil definitely weighs less than your hand does. So by holding that pencil all the way at the end like this, you are able to create very, very light shadows because just the weight of the pencil is on your point. And that makes it easy to blend to your number ones. Now, as soon as you put the pencil back on your hand, it's a little bit more pressure on the point and makes it harder to get those lighter shadows. But as soon as you move that pencil all the way to the end, holding just the end of it so that the back of the pencil does not rest on your hand, you can get those very super light shadows easily. So that you can go all the way from number 10s to number 1s with good blends in between. Even an ebony pencil can use that same trick of holding the pencil way at the end to get super soft shading. Ebony pencil is the softest graphite you can get before you hit charcoal. But that trick of holding it at the end so that the end of the pencil does not touch your hand anywhere, you can still get super light shading a lot more easily than if the pencil is resting on your hand. 